On Team 4 now, Marissa, you know, a lot of people, because of Indigenous Peoples Day, Columbus Day, they had the day off from school or maybe work, and it's really a great day to be off. Yes, thankfully, we do have a lot of sunshine across the area. Temperatures not too bad either, but we are going to get even warmer before everything comes to an end as we head into Wednesday. So hopefully you're able to get out and about and enjoy some of this weather. Right now, most of us are in the 60s again, slightly cooler. Sheboygan, West Bend, Port Washington, but temperatures will likely climb in those three spots into the 60s this afternoon. A quick look at your afternoon planner because I want to get ahead to the rain that is coming our way. Sunny skies, temperatures peaking mainly in the mid 60s as we head closer to 2, 3 and 4 o'clock. Eventually temperatures will cool tonight. The sun sets about a quarter past six, but taking a look at our chance for rain today, no chance for rain. Obviously, you could tell you look out your window, blue skies. So we're not expecting rain today. Tomorrow, though, a slight chance to likely that's coming in the evening, but a better chance for your Wednesday with a nice cold front rolling through the area. So let's take a look at your future forecast. We'll continue through the remainder of the day today. Like I mentioned, mostly clear skies. Tomorrow morning, we'll have a couple of clouds starting to stream in, but overall, we'll keep it mostly sunny until we get late into the afternoon and evening, and then clouds will eventually push in. This is part of a warm front that will likely bring us a few light showers as we head into your Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. Now we're at Wednesday morning, 7 o'clock here. You can see a couple of scattered showers across the area impacting the morning commute, but then we have a cold front developing as we head into the afternoon and evening. This will bring us some steady rain, some thunderstorms as well, a few which could be strong to severe, so something to watch Wednesday afternoon into the evening. But eventually those rain showers and thunderstorms will work their way to the east. By the time we head into late to, uh, Wednesday night, we will be back to some drier weather. However, some showers will linger even throughout the day on Thursday. So we do have some big changes coming ahead of the warm front tomorrow. We'll actually see a mild day mid 70s again, mostly sunny skies for at least the first half of the day before clouds start to move in in the afternoon ahead of a few of those showers late, mainly after sunset. Wednesday, though, we have the showers. It's also going to be breezy gusts around about 30 miles per hour. Temperatures will climb into the upper 60s, even likely a few 70s, uh, especially if you live closer to the state line on Wednesday before the cold front comes through that cold front will drop temperatures about 20 degrees, likely near 50 degrees to end the day. A few more showers for your Thursday. And then as we get into Friday, that's going to be another chance that we'll see widespread frost and potentially a hard freeze in those spots that did not see that last week. So we do have a roller coaster of a week, but like I was talking earlier, it's kind of one of those roller coasters. It's only the first hill. It's only the first hill and then the big drop. You know, we're not going to go like this throughout the whole week. No, that's what up, you think. And then down. Yeah, maybe the rest of the month. Yes. I'll well, take yeah. these bonus days though. Yeah, it's beautiful out there right now. And honestly, tomorrow ahead of those showers late, it's going to be a nice day too and even warmer than today. All right. Sounds good. Marissa, mm -hmm. thank you.